What is up everyone, my name is YTruber and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your LSPFR working again after the brand new surprise GTA 5 update. So the first thing you guys want to do is head down in the description below and click download on the mega link you see down there. That is basically going to include these couple of files. I made this quickly because as soon as GTA 5 updated I was like, well, I know a lot of you guys are not going to be able to do this because you guys have not have not known about this update and have not been able to save these files but luckily I did not update one of my game saves because you know it wasn't in Grand Theft Auto so it didn't automatically update so I grabbed these couple of game files so this is pretty much the exact same fix to what happened last year so I knew this would be the same fix so I thought I'd do the same thing try it out and let alone it did work so head down in the description below and download these two files these are from my game and this is what will get your GTA 5 working again after the update until everything else updates like LSPFR, Rage Plugin Hook and Script Hook V. So download that and then what you're going to do is bring up your GTA 5 main directory. So to do that for Rockstar Games and Epic Games users, if you have not already, head down in the description below and that will take you guys to your GTA 5 main directory. But for Steam users, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that now. So go to the drive you installed your GTA 5 on, go to Program Files 86 and then go to Steam. Steam apps and common. Choose a GTA 5 folder that isn't working for me. It's this one right here. And then what you want to do is load up your Rage plugin hook. And either it's going to give you an error saying it's not a supported version, or it's going to load like that and just click the settings icon. It should pause, it should close out, and after a minute, if you give it some time, there you go, it should open up a menu like this. Then what you're going to want to do is head over to game settings and click revert game version. Basically, then what you want to do is if you wish to upgrade the latest version again, we recommend using Steam to verify the game files. But if you already have not reverted your game version, as you guys can see here, I already have. But if you haven't, all you're going to want to do is simply just click the verify. What you're going to do is pretty much just click revert to game version. That will revert you back to the older version, but you guys probably already know that that isn't going to work because that never works anymore. Because unfortunately, GTA 5 updated something and it broke that back up. So what you're going to do after doing that is still helps out with the whole game file. So make sure you revert back. And then what you're going to do is use the couple of game files that I provided in the download link down below. You can close out your Rage now and bring back up your GTA 5 main directory. Bring the download and simply just drag and drop these two files, GTA 5.exe and play GTA 5.exe. Drag and drop them into your game. So now it asks you to replace these two files. Simply just replace them. And there you guys go. Your GTA 5 should now be fully working. You should be able to load in with no issues whatsoever. I thought I'd get this fixed out for you guys because I know a lot of guys will be loving to see this so you can actually get back on your game. For some people, this never happened. For some people, the update didn't break their game. But for a lot, quite a lot of people like me, it broke my game. So I had to quickly sort this out so I can get these videos out for you guys. And I thought I'd also make a video out for it so you guys can get back on your LSPDFR. If you guys did find this video useful, please, please smash the subscription button. That would be greatly appreciated. And please smash that like button. That would be absolutely awesome. We are trying to get to 1K. By the end of February, if we could get there, I'll make an awesome 1K subscriber giveaway. It won't be it much, but it'll definitely be a gift card of some sort. Maybe Amazon, maybe Xbox, maybe PS4. You never know, but it'll be a giveaway. Not sure how much. It depends how I'm feeling, you know, what mood I'm in. But if you guys would please, please smash that 1K subscribe goal out of the park. By the end of February, that would be greatly appreciated. And other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR video.